Green Lantern faces the Sublime Source Lantern, DC's most powerful lantern battery ever. The Green Lantern's mythology just got a lot more complicated with the debut of the Source Lantern. The Green Lantern Corps' new rulers, the United Planets, have made a lot of changes since it took over and they're doing whatever they can to enshrine their power. Across the emotional spectrum, various hues have begun to fall. Sinestro's army, the Red Lanterns, and even the peaceful Blue Lanterns have all suffered devastating attacks. The United Planets finally reveal what they've been planning as Hal Jordan discovers the mightiest central power battery he's ever seen in his life. In Green Lantern No. 10 by Jeremy Adams, Zermanico, Amankena Welpan, and Romulo Fajardo Jr., Hal Jordan has made it to the Green Lantern's base on OA and reunited with Sojourner Joe Mullen. However, Joe is insistent that the two not use their power rings, otherwise they'll be discovered by the Ring Hunters, the United Planet's elite guard. Instead, the two lanterns travel by foot through various ducts and shafts until they make it to the secluded Resistance core base deep underneath OA's surface. Hal reunites with his old comrades 26, Salek, and Kyle Rayner and the Resistance core brings Hal up to speed on what the United Planets have been doing. Joe reveals that core veterans have been slowly replaced by the United Planets lanterns, ring wielders who can channel other parts of the emotional spectrum. The debut of the United Planets lanterns coincided with the United Planets leader, Lord Premier Theros ordering the destruction of the emotional spectrum central power batteries. Joe takes Hal to another part of OA to see what Theros is attempting to do. Joe shows Hal the source lantern, the United Planets lantern's central power battery, and they witness Theros is attempting to unlock its power. With the Orange Lantern central power battery destroyed, Theros convinces a volunteer to channel the Orange Lantern power and storm the Source Lantern. Unfortunately, this only results in the Lantern vaporizing himself. Theros expresses disappointment that the United Planet's recently acquired Orange powers didn't unlock the Source Lantern power, but resolves to continue the experiment the next day with a stronger candidate. Sometime after the dust settled after Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, the Guardians of the Universe disappeared, temporarily leaving the Green Lantern Corps without leadership. However, control of the Corps was left to the United Planets, who immediately began enacting some bold and controversial choices. Citing the numerous dangers Earth presented, Lord Premier Theros placed Sector 2814 under strict quarantine and reassigned every Green Lantern from Earth to a new duty. Unfortunately for the Green Lanterns, this change began one of the most tumultuous chapters in Green Lantern history.